Brauchst du Schere? So Taschenmesser? Oh. Ja, Butterfly ist das nicht gerade, aber... Nächster Tag, nächstes Glück. Arbeiten waren wir mittlerweile schon. Da hinten kommt Jessie rein. Sag mal Hallo! Genau. Gestern haben wir ja den Videotest gemacht. Heute bist du auf Arbeiten eigentlich nicht viel. Hä? Ich habe trainiert, um meinen Beinen schon jetzt ein bisschen weh. Okay. Tun nicht weh, aber die sind so, so kraftlos. Ja, schwer. Also schwer ja. Genau, Schatz hat ein bisschen Sport gemacht. Ich habe Rückenschmerzen mal wieder. Ähm, und mir ist gerade aufgefallen, haha, die T-Shirts, die sind schon ganz schön kurz und ganz schön eng. Ich glaube, ich brauche neue T-Shirts. Vor allem. Ich glaube, ich brauche T-Shirts in einer L. Heißt für mich, äh, Decker, du bist fett geworden. Ja, danke schön. Wie ein Arbeitskollege das schon richtig gesagt hat oder richtig das aufgefallen ist. Ich habe ja mittlerweile vor fast fünf Monaten aufgehört gehabt zu rauchen. Und das schlägt ja auch noch mit rein. Ne? Nicht rauchen, gleich fett werden. Ja, das stimmt allerdings. Super, äh, wo ist die nächste Schachtel? Wir gehen jetzt nur noch ein Eis essen. Ja, nachdem du sagst, nachdem du darüber geredet hast, ist das schon äh, Natürlich. Beziehungsweise ich werde ich werd nicht mehr viel machen. Ich werde relativ zügig ins Bett gehen und dann zum nächsten Cut. Hi everybody, I look like a mess, but um, I'm just in the kitchen. Ignore this mess over there. Um, and I'm doing some breakfast. We've got some eggs and some chicken ham. And I already drank my coffee. I was lo looking at some YouTube. Um, I have one like in about an hour when I finish eating. Um, I will get ready and go to the hairdresser actually. I want to go a lighter hair color. So I was really debating on which kind of color I will go for. And I decided on a base color, which is almost like blonde, but We'll see how it turns out. First of all, I was thinking of ash brown or chocolate brown or something like this. But I said, like, if it, I don't like the beige color, I can still opt for something darker afterwards by myself. Um, but I want to do something more challenging. But I was quite hesitant because my, my hair, you can't see it, but is in a really good condition. So guys, um, I put on some clothes, I got just the black shirt on, and this here, the shirt is from uh, New Yorker, I bought this last time I went uh, to Cindy's place, and the pants are from True, they have like this ripped um, oh, knee on both sides, like on the back there's also a rip, I don't know if you can see it, but like here, and it's really comfortable, but it's high waisted, so it fits well with this crop top. And um, this is the last time you see me with uh, dark hair. Say bye, say bye. What's the English word? I'm just brain farting. Um, but I got a new tripod, so um, I got it for America. But I will see, because it's a little bit, it's really inexpensive, like 20 euros. And I can see that it's like from the same quality, like my last one. It's much more small, uh, much smaller, so I will see if I have to get another one. It's currently around 10 a.m. My appointment is 11.30 and I have to go in a few minutes. I just will finish my face makeup and I will put on a necklace. And yeah, Mike is uh, working today. He is, um, uh, uh, he is um, cleaning an office on Saturday. It's actually his mom's job, but uh, my, mo uh, my mom, his mom has like holidays now, uh, like vacation days, so he is gonna do that for her instead. In his uh, instead, and he actually had to start at like seven a.m. to twelve a.m. But he was late first of all, and after he drove there, he noticed he forgot the keys for the office. So he come back here, and that's the time when I made breakfast and stuff. So I was like, "Hi, man, um, what are you doing here?" And I forgot my keys, and I say, okay. 
Also, um, I got this, if you wonder what kind of flacon this is, this is from Anazui. It's a very citrusy smell. It's a little bit strong at the uh, beginning, but it uh, goes really softens up. But this smell is quite harsh on the citrusy side, so if you smell it first, um, I think a few people can get in a headache. But it has like a mysterious flair to it, and like the pa packaging is like so amazing, guys. Look at this shape. It's on the plastic, you know, but it's so pretty. It's so nice to put on a table and stuff. My hairdresser is very professional. She's a Japanese girl. She lives with her German boyfriend uh, in Berlin. Uh, hasn't been here for a long time. And she doesn't speak German, actually. So you have to talk. Um, like It's best if you talk a little bit of English, at least, to uh, if you want to go there. Oh, sorry, I have to zoom in a little bit. Uh, always take a like a picture with me just for reference so I don't have to exactly explain what I want it's kind of difficult to explain hairstyles right but for colors it's even better so yeah today is coloring day I haven't colored my hair since the beginning of the year but in the beginning of the year I just toned my hair to a black tea with a bub uh, self uh, do yourself bubble tea uh, bubble foam uh, coloring from it's also from a Japanese brand, but this came out of stock. It was from Lise, and I always bought the black tea one because I liked the. Sh it was really dark brown, but it had a shimmer. And my natural hair is really dark. It's brown, but it's so dark you can almost say it's black from afar or from near even. And it only has like a brown shimmer when it, I'm in the sunlight, when I'm exposed to sunlight. And yeah, I was thinking about going more uh, like blonding the hair. And that uh, like bleaching it because if I have to go for a lighter color than any browns or reds, I definitely have to ble bleach it to get the right result. And I never do this on my own because I think you can do so much wrong <laughs> to your hair while when you don't have the knowledge you need for using chemicals. At some point, um, I will go back to uh, like a chocolate brown or dark brown like this one. But I thought maybe it's the last time I will bleach it or something because. At a certain age, it's uh, it looks kind of odd if you have a really light hair. It's not always the case, but I feel like I I will be more comfortable with a natural hair, ha more natural hair color than um, like a unnatural one when I'm older. Because you have pro probably most of you who are almost thirty or more. Oh, like a higher age or have kids or something. I'm, I mean, the older you get, the less time you have because you have so many things to do all the time, which is annoying, but it's just a fact that you have to time manage more. And if you have to take care of bleached hair a lot, oh, it just eats up your time and your pot money, <laughs> like your money, you know? So I feel like I will go back to this kind of color. And I won't... Um, put up much makeup I will just do my eyes because I think my even for my eyebrows I have to color them later and actually it will rain later I saw the weather forecast that it's today it gets about 24 degrees celsius which is good because lately it was really cold in the morning and it's still chilly but in the evening it's getting quite warm but it will rain midday like 1 p.m. I get my hair gets really um, oily really quickly but that's with most Asian hairs it depends which country you're from it's just the DNA thing and it gets oily really quickly so right now it's fine actually winter it gets oily really fast and when it's get when it's a bleached version of my hair it just gets super dry and the oiliness isn't really a problem anymore which is good but I have to tackle the dryness of my hair to be really careful with it, not to um, treat it wrongly with dry blowing too harshly and stuff because that can damage your hair a lot when you uh, do blow, blow dry your hair regularly, you have to do it properly. And I didn't realize that until I'm, I was actually a grown up, so please do take care. Anyways, I just put on a little bit of mascara. This is my favorite mascara, I rebuy it all the time. It's from Isadora, it's this one. Um, it's all day long lash 
Um, it's a waterproof version, but I always rebuy this one because it's really great. Anywho, um, I'm think thinking about going beige, like beige color hair. Um, if everything fails, I will go for chocolate brown. Um, so a more brown color than this, because it looks actually browner on the camera than it is. It's actually darker. I was thinking about going like ashy blonde or like a latte or caramel brown, but a light version of that. I wasn't really sure until last day. Like yesterday I still was looking up hair colors and it's so hard to decide. But guys, um, I will leave in a second and we'll just put on a little bit of uh, makeup on my lips and then we'll just go outside and hope that everything turns out fine with my hair because I'm kind of worried about that. But this is the last time you see me with brown hair. Maybe I can um, do a photo in the salon. Yeah, this is my look. I will just put on some simple sneakers. Uh, I have to have a one hour drive though. as usual here, but I'm just going to get something to drink. Mm. If you're looking for a really Asian style bubble tea or tea, warm or cold, you can come here. It's an um, um, Asian store called Come By. And they have really good along tea, so I just got that and now I'm going to my appointment. Mm. Ich habe einen Föhn bekommen, weil ich so geschützt habe, als ich angekommen bin, nicht den Berg hochgelaufen bin. <lacht> ich fühle mich wie eine Frühlingsrunde. Es ist schon ziemlich braun geworden, aber wir versuchen jetzt meine Augenbrauen ein bisschen heller zu machen. Ich bin jetzt auf dem Weg nochmal zum zweiten Job. Zweiten Arbeit. Ja, wir haben es jetzt kurz vor neun. Ich hätte um acht anfangen müssen. Habe erstmal den Schlüssel vergessen, so dass ich erstmal den gesamten Weg wieder zurückfahren durfte, musste den Schlüssel holen. Wäre ich nicht so doof gewesen, hätte den Schlüssel bei gehabt. Fertig mit Arbeiten schon seit ein paar Stunden. Ähm, jetzt bei meinen Eltern gerade im Wohnzimmer. Jetzt noch ein bisschen entspannen, ein bisschen chillen mit meinen Eltern, ein bisschen quatschen, vielleicht Filmchen gucken und sowas. Morgen äh, zu meinem Onkel fahren, der macht gerade eine Reha. Da fahre ich mit meiner Mom zusammen hin und sehen wir uns im nächsten Cut. Hi guys, um, I'm back home. It's 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. So this is the hair result of today's uh, failure, I think. So I said I trust my hairdresser, but I've never colored by, with them before. But now it looks golden, right? It looks like honey, honey blonde, something like this. And I wanted a beige. I will show you the photos. I showed uh, my hairdresser. It will pop up somewhere here that you can see it. This is what I was aiming for, like beige, coffee, latte color, color. But this isn't the right result at all. It's much, it's far too yellowish. It's so, so, so yellow orangey and I really don't like it. This is how it looks, right? So this is not, would you call this beige? I mean, on the bottom sides, it's a little bit darker, 
but it's still so orangey in my opinion. It's too yellowish, right? So I didn't aim for this kind of color uh, in comparison to the photos. Uh, so maybe it's my fault for not explaining it to her at all, but like um, enough. But also she's at fault if she said she can't aim for the exact right color that I want. She should told to should have should have told me beforehand, and then I would have made up my mind and went for something more browner. But yeah, I will show you the progress photos here as well. Um, I really like to stay there. They really took good care of my uh, hair and the bleaching itself wasn't really bad. Like the bleaching itself was actually super fine. Um, yeah, I think the color is okay, but I don't. I just want to remove the yellow orangey part. So, and from afar, it's really. Uh, I don't know, it's too, like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, um, yeah, I was trusting her completely and they worked with two people on my hair and now it's so yellow. I was like, okay, it goes away when we dry it. But then it did dry and she noticed I, I wasn't happy with it. So I told her what was wrong with it. I didn't want to keep quiet and say it's fine. And... Um, I just want to remove more of the yellow color, so I th thought uh, told her um, we were discussing how to fix it. So she said she will redo it. I was thinking for short, shortly if I should just do it at home and finish it, but she will. Uh, I give her a chance to fix. She also um, colored my eyebrows a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry guys, but that was such a fail. Um, we did the bleaching first, and that's what we did uh, first. And the bleaching was all good. Uh, my hair's fine with this. Um, it's still okay, it's a bit dry though. When we bleached I already thought that it looked really gingery and a whole different color in my opinion. Look at this, it's so yellow there and then, I don't know, like after bleaching, that didn't really change much after bleaching. And none of the photos look like this. I want like a coffee latte uh, beige color and she told me she put beige, but um, even though the two stylists work with me separately sometimes, um, um, I never felt neglected or anything, they put the timer right, everything was fine. But I think we had a communication problem because in the end I didn't like it. I said it's much too yellowish still. It wasn't what I was aiming for. This is so gingery and very, very in your face. I mean, on the picture it doesn't look that bad, but it's really orange when I look in the mirror and I was like, oh my shit. Anyways, I'm doing rice with tofu now, but back to the story. Which was quite a fail in my opinion and really bad tempered because of that, because the day started so well, it was a really nice day. So she was feeling very sorry for it and stuff like that, because I was discussing with her, that's not the color I was aiming for and stuff. Because if you if you have a um, picture to show and she knows she can't reach that without in, within a day or within the appointment, she should tell you, right? So. She said she put in some beige and stuff, and even if I want to aim for a more, like, the color I wanted, I should, I probably need to bleach again. Okay, if you can't guarantee me wh when I bleach again to get the correct color, then let's aim for something uh, darker, like an ash brown, because I was thinking about that too. So we decided on a, a darker beige, but we will see if this uh, figure, figures, figures out. I actually needed to pay something more because I will use more bleach than um, because I have long hair, you know, I use more bleach than it's normal to pay more and I had to pay actually a little bit on top for the bleach but when I wanted to pay her she said I shouldn't pay it because she was feeling really sorry that I have to come in again I said sorry for the trouble but yeah, things turn out like this wasn't that what I was aiming for guys? Look at this, how yellow it is. Like on the screen before it didn't look like this, but this is like ginger, right? I look a little bit like sandy and this wasn't what I was aiming for at all. And if she needed to bleach the second time, she should have just bleached it a second time instead of just putting something there. They should have told me. I'm going to do 
My plan was to go home, do some white rice and some tofu, which I have here now, and some vegetables, and then the world will be better if you eat some rice. The world is a better place. Now, on what I didn't tell you on the way back. On the way back, um, it started to rain really badly. So that happened, and I was feeling really cold. So, like things went downhill after I went out as a ginger hair from the salon. It's such a waste of time <laughs> to get your hair done if it doesn't come out right, right? So I was kind of pissed about that. Maybe you should separate stylist and colorist. I just made her cut my bangs a little bit because they were like reaching until here already. So that was fine. The hair is still healthy, just a little dry. All okay, but now. Enough blabbering about that. My boyfriend finished his work early, uh, later because she forgot his keys, obviously. And then he went to his parents' house because it's close by. The parents actually wanted to go eating, but they just um, uh, threw that plan away and they just stayed with Mike uh, at their house. So Mike is at the parents' place. I'm kind of pissed, but I will look forward. Kissing a little bit. I'm kind of... How do you say it? I'm being negative about this. But the other thing is, there was a weird smell in the, in the, in the, um, like in the, sorry, I keep staring at myself because I'm not used to this color. Uh, anyways, there was a, sm a weird smell like in the apartment for a while. And we thought it was because of the trash. Then we put the trash out, right? And it was kind of gone, but like, there was some weird smell, and when I went, well, yesterday Mike went to sleep earlier. I went to the bedroom, and Mike was sleeping there. And when I came in, this strange smell appeared again. So I can definitely say it was from the bed or from the living um, from the bedroom. And I tried to check that, but this morning I said to Mike, "Yeah, the smell is still there. It's probably in the bedroom, but I can't really tell because only a few, like one week, not a week, one week ago, but like five days ago." Some, somewhere in the past week, I actually wiped the whole floor of the apartment and I cleaned up so much and I didn't notice anything lying around, which would be uh, strange or something. I'm gonna put some red onions here and I will add soy sauce later, really simple. I would have done an egg, but I already ate the eggs this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, and we, we couldn't figure out what it was and I went to the... But I didn't really care that much, so the smell comes from the mattress or something so I just put I was smelling at it I'm like yeah it could be the pillow and the um, bed sheet and I have to put everything oh sorry I put everything out I'm oh, sorry it's dark ah it's so light now um well it's slipping away so I put everything out you know and put it in the washing machine for okay now it must be fine right uh, maybe I will film Mike's reaction to my hair I said I told him the whole story, I said it was such a fail, Bender. But he will probably say, you yeah, don't look that bad. I said, no, I don't look bad, but I want it the way I wanted it. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, so I'm watching the originals now, just to cheer me up a little bit. I actually want to tell you about a movie I watched yesterday. It was called The Hate You Give. Now let me show you. Um, It was... What is it? It was um, this one, The Hate You Give. Um, this one is a really good movie. I actually really liked it. It was super interesting. It's about racism, practically. It's about how people still treat people different because of skin color and where they came come from. So, yeah. I'm gonna watch the originals. It's quite kind of old, but I never finished it because it wasn't on Netflix for a long time. It was only until the um, third um, yeah, season. So I'm watching the fourth now and I will go in with, with the fifth uh, afterwards. But yeah, I just bought it on Google Play because I can watch it on the go as well. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now. So, I'm going to go to my Eltern gerade and fahre jetzt home. It's 22 Uhr mittlerweile. Wie gesagt, ich bin jetzt gleich zu Hause. Tag war stressig genug. Jasmin war ja bei dem Friseur. Mal sehen, wie sie aussieht. Ich bin auf jeden Fall 
ziemlich fertig. War auf jeden Fall mal wieder schön bei der Familie zu sein. Ist ja jetzt auch lange nicht mehr. Also relativ lange nicht mehr. In sechs Wochen ready to take off. Wir eben ab. Wie auch immer. Wie man nicht sieht, bin ich jetzt gleich zu Hause. Okay. Ich sehe sie schon mal. Ich weiß nicht, darf ich dich zeigen? Ja. Gut, dann guckt auf jeden Fall ihr nächstes Video, wo sie die Haare hat. Verabschiede ich mich erstmal an der Stelle hier und sag ciao ciao. Guys, um, sorry if I'm a messy leg, but this is my hair after toning. And um, I actually washed it the first time at home, so you won't be seeing something extremely different. Um, but as you can see, we went a little bit in a darker, ashier color, uh, ashier beige. And uh, yeah, I'll show, it, show you um, when I finish blow drying my hair. But first of all, I want to share what I use to hey, wait a second, maintain my hair now. And that is... Uh -uh. So, uh, that is um, the Milbon Smooth Professional 4 Weekly Boost for fine hair. Uh, it's like a small um, ampoule, which looks like this, and you clip off the uh, top and then you get out the product. Um, it's just a white, silky product. It's basically a mask that you put on, but you have to work it into your um, lengths and to uh, the ends like by doing a certain movement and leave it in for like 10 minutes and rinse it off. Um, yeah, and other than that, I'm using Olaplex number four and number five, um, which is the shampoo and the conditioner. I'm actually just testing these. For the mask, I can really recommend it, even for natural hair, because it really helped to health and strengthen and moisturize my hair. I felt a big difference after using it for a month, like once a week. So I can recommend that and it's not in, uh, not so expensive like the four boosters. I don't know if there is a bigger bottle but if there is and I still feel a difference with my bleached hair as well, I will definitely get a bigger bottle. For the Olaplex ones is the shampoo and conditioner. I only use them now for checking them out and if I know the results, like if I have... So if I know how they work, uh, I will update you on that. So let's start blow drying, right? And you can see my hair. Um, yeah, I have big eye bags again, but that's because I'm old, okay? <laughs> I use, uh, since a long time, I'm using Kerastase Discipline um, to protect my hair from heat. Um, at the beginning, I looked for something that protected me when I was um, actually just um, going in with the hair straightener because I used to do this all the time when I was um, in the previous years, I guess. But now I prefer only blow drying and maybe going in with the hair straightener from time to time but at that time I was looking for something and I stick with this product it's really the best um, it's a bit more on the pricier side but it's really worth it and it leaves your hair smooth without feeling sticky and stuff it's a heat protector basically and I always use it even for just for blow drying so um, yeah especially for the ends which are not cut yet I have to cut them actually before I go to America and yeah I wanted to just show you um, I blow dry my hair sometimes like most of the time I'll put the half of my hair up because I have so much hair guys um, and yeah I start blow drying in this area and the longer parts and I go into the bangs so sometimes I put my bangs on like this circular rolling thing and sometimes when I need more volume at the top I'm actually flipping my head over and um, blow drying from um, go like the other way around with my head down so I get more volume there but today I will just do it regularly um, I'm using this oil it's called um, Moroccan oil 
treatment for all hair types. Um, it comes with a pump and this is what I use a little bit of and spread it on my um, hands and then put it all over, not all over, like uh, mainly in the length and the ends to um, make the hair more smooth and this is really helpful for moisturizing but um, you shouldn't use too much because it's uh, oil based treat um, uh, oil based product so yeah if you have oily hair already um, this will be a bother if using too much but I can definitely recommend it and this like the scent is like divine so this is my hair color I finished putting the hair oil in I didn't do anything else and despite that my arm is breaking from using the tripod because I'm not used to it anymore <laughs> But yeah, this is hair color. As you can see, it's like some ashy kind of beige. Um, yeah. And um, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, and I hope uh, this was interesting. Have a good night or a good morning, depending. And yeah, see you next time. Ciao. So, ich bin jetzt mit Mutti, Teltostadt, also Rande von Berlin. <lacht> Und dürfen jetzt, ja über ein GPS unseren Weg suchen zum ja, Reha-Zentrum, ne? mein Onkel da eine Kleinigkeit an Lebensmitteln kriegt. Eine kleine Überraschung. Das Ding ist voll. Ja, wenn keine, schon, denn schon. Genau, keine halben Sachen. So, das ist natürlich, ah okay, wir müssen so, so laufen. Natürlich, wir müssen da in die Straße rein und hier ist gesperrt. Das ist optisch sieht so ein bisschen aus wie ein Verkehrsübungsplatz. Eher so. Ja, kommst du? Na toll. Na kommst du? Läufst einfach los. Ja, weil ich darauf geachtet habe, dass der Rest im Verkehr angehalten hat. Ja. Da, guck mal, Rea Zentrum Seehof. Ja, folgen wir jetzt den Schildern. Ja. Mit meiner kleinen Mama. <lacht> ja, ich wachs halt schon wieder in der Erde, ne? Sieht schön aus hier. Ja, sieht ziemlich ländlich. Ja, also man schön. hat hier wirklich rundherum nur Häuser. Also nur, nur kleine, sehr kleine schöne Häuser. Eingang. Und dann Baum durchstucken. <lacht> Müssen wir mal gucken. Dieser Baum. Der sieht ja mal übelst geil aus. Ich mach ein Foto. <lacht> so, ich bin jetzt auf dem Weg, kurz mal was einzukaufen. In knapp Monat geht es ja für uns los in die USA. Aktuell bin ich jetzt seit insgesamt fünf Wochen zu Hause, habe immer noch Rückenprobleme. Ich hoffe, dass ich das jetzt schaffe zu lösen, bis es in die USA geht. Dass das wenigstens besser wird oder halt hoffentlich sogar weg ist. Keine Ahnung. Also was ich bisher von den Ärzten erfahren habe, ist halt nur dass es nichts mit der Bandscheibe zu tun hat und auch ja, mit, mit den Rückennerven wohl nicht wirklich was zu tun haben soll, könnte trotzdem sein. Deswegen soll ich auf jeden Fall noch zum Neurologen. Die Ärzte hier in Berlin so geil sind und ich erst einen Termin habe für äh, Montag. Ich war am Mittwoch beim Arzt, seit Dienstag sind die MRT-Termine oder Ergebnisse da. Und ja, hm. so viel dort zu. Ne? Also mach kein Foto. <lacht> Nein, mach ich nicht. <lacht> Ja. Und was? Was? Es wäre in den Mund zu schieben, wenn ich es äh, in der Kamera gucke. Mhm. Ja, mein Name ist aber kein Wunder. Mhm.
Ja, wir probieren heute mal ein bisschen die Dinger aus. Das macht Spaß. <lacht> Das gleich, ne? 36 haben die auch von denen. Hä? Von denen haben sie. Warte. Ja. Filmst du mich? Ja. Also, also guck, guck mal, wie ich sie aus. Auf, hä? Wenn ich sie hier äh, irgendwie gefühlt hat, nee. weil ich sehe auch immer so jung aus. Ich sehe eigentlich nicht so aus. Alles klar. Du siehst so glatt aus. Guck mal, ich sehe aus wie 18 gerade. Also wir gucken eigentlich gerade nach Schuhen. Ja, das soll bei dir ins Video, aber. Aber ja, warum Okay. Gucken wir gucken hier gerade nach Schuhen, weil meine die sehen mittlerweile so aus. Ähm, ich hatte mich entschieden, oder ich habe welche gefunden bei Olle Snipes. Und zwar Adidas. Habe ich. Und Jasmin guckt jetzt nach wegen Schuhen. Ich finde die nicht so schlecht. Das wird das letzte Videoschnipselchen vom Urlaub. Nein, schon wieder eins? Ja. Hallo. Ich bin aber gammelig heute. Ich bin nur, wir sind nur spazieren gegangen. Genau. Eigentlich wollte ich gar nicht raus, sie hat mich dann doch zeig, überzeugt. Zeig mal hier. Ja, weil es dir nicht gut, ja? gut ging. Guck mal einfach dann mal da, wie es aussieht. Sind wir ja, jetzt ja. einfach mitten im Forst, also mitten im Wald. Gehen und spazieren mit Nerv Nervennahrung für Schatz und es sieht ganz wolkig aus. Wasser. Dabei ist es richtig ja. warm. 28 Grad, geschlossene Wolkendecke, läuft bei uns. Die letzten Tage, nimm mal bitte deinen Pombeer, Schatz. Die letzten Tage kriege ich, krieg ich immer mehr ich Bammel in dem Sinne. Ihr vor, vor der Reise, so ein bisschen. Nicht mal groß vor dem Flug selber, sondern einfach, ja, man ist dann doch schon ein bisschen weiter entfernt von, von zu Hause. <lacht> Nur ein bisschen. Nur ein bisschen. Ja. Aber ja, man wird sehen. Noch ein paar Vorbereitungen, die wir jetzt noch machen müssen. Und den geht's auch schon los. Ne? Nun, natürliches Reisefieber. Hattest du das noch nie? Wie oft bin ich gereist? Nicht oft. Siehst du. Nee, also, Aber also das Spontanste, was ich bisher gemacht habe, ist einfach wirklich frühmorgens Tasche packen. Auf dem, äh, hm. Ja doch, auf dem Freitag. Verlängertes äh, Wochenende gemacht gehabt. Freitag früh Tasche gepackt. Äh, zum Bahnhof gegangen, Ticket nach Dresden gekauft und gehen. Hm. Hotel schnell gemietet. So, aber richtig spontan, einfach so kein Bock in dem Moment gehabt auf Berlin, auf nichts. Ich wollte einfach nur weg, einfach nur raus und dann drin. Tschüss. Aber sonst wirklich Reisen oder auch Reisefieber hm. nie gehabt. Hallo, I'm vlogging now just because Mike started it and we went to north of Spandau and there is this huge animal. Das we have it called like an open zoo for people to come in the forest and it looks really interesting so and there they have reindeers and like the wild swines I have no idea how they are called yes the witch swine of England anyways there's some water over here too yeah it's only 18 days until we fly to America and I can't wait until we sit on the plane Uh, six, yeah, days. like yesterday I looked up um, and it was yeah, 17. Yesterday. Wow, this is actually really nice. With the That's great. How are your English skills? Huh? How are your English skills? I haven't skills. <laughs> I haven't skills. This is really cute here. It's not far away. We drove by the bus. Um, Yeah, there's like a small 
mini pinny island to take photos with or just to stand in the river and there's a duck. This is our breakfast. I don't know. Voll peaceful. Ist aber in unsere Richtung gegangen. Schaut mich dann so an. Okay, das wird creepy. Und dreht sich um. Na, there's a pretty one. Oh, he's so big. Hello. We don't have food. You already get so much food from all the children. He's as big as Mike. Same size. Macht ihr gerade Psycho-Gespräche? Voll aufmerksam. Ja. Ich habe auch so eine krasse Farbe und ich glaube, darum ist er erschrocken. No, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. Mike said I was too hasty. Moving, that's why. Look, one, the other one in the back is taking a bath. Mike is connecting. Ich finde, die sehen voll edel aus und so. Ja, voll hübsch. He's following him. <lacht> okay. So pretty. They have a really huge um, place. Big one. Die keilen nur ein bisschen. Nein, das ist nichts für dich, das ist was das ist mein ist. Kommt schon an. Oh, that's so creepy. So creepy. Don't they have children? They fight in the back. They are fighting so intensely, though. Der eine ist viel kleiner als der andere. Ne? Ja. 